we were sitting in our car and we just heard a crash crash and then we heard splash and somebody yelled call 911 and uh, when we had got out of the car by that time the hood of the car was submerged in water facing out from the lake uh, or from the shore and there was a driver in the seat that looked like he may have been suffering some kind of medical problem um, or it could have been just panic he just looked like his arms were kind of locked at the steering wheel and uh, it was it all happened in seconds the car just went kind of straight down on its nose and just started rolling back and it was pinning people between the, the trunk of the car and the dock as they were trying to hold the car straight up and down. So the folks jumped in. There was two gentlemen in the water as the car was going under but there was once the car got to the bottom I guess the algae so thick at the bottom or the seaweed they kept going down coming back up saying they couldn't do it and uh, they just they said they just didn't have enough air and they just couldn't get down there. Were they were good Samaritans? Were they friends of the guy? Good Samaritans. They were fishermen. Yeah. They're here. They're yeah, here. they're here all the time. It yeah. was just after the rain, you said, right? Yeah, it was the rain had just moved through and it kind of, the rain is what pushed people into their cars on that side. And there was a few people standing under the hatch of their car and that's, those are the people that ran over. Um, was it just the one individual in the car, the one you know? No, there was three. There was three. Okay. There's a, a man, a lady, and a younger kid. Were they at the boat launch, or were they? Uh, they came crash. Can... They came crashing through those parking blocks over there. Okay. So I'm assuming they came in from that end. Okay. Um, we just heard, like I said, we just heard the crash, crash. We didn't really see it happen, but we seen the car in the water, and noticed where they came from.